Hi in this part, now we have make bunge query function for automatic calculation of whole invoice, so we have write function with name calculate final total with count variable as argument. This will calculate actual amount, tax amount, particular item total amount and whole invoice total amount. Under this function we have first define one final item total variable is equal to zero. In this variable we will store final invoice total amount. After this we have write for loop with condition like j is equal to 1, j variable value less than equal to count argument value and j variable value plus plus. This loop continuously execute until it will less than the value of count variable. Under this loop first we have defined quantity variable is equal to 0. Under this variable we will store value of item quantity. After this we have defined another variable price is equal to 0. In this variable we will store item price which we will enter into item price text box. Below this we have defined one more variable actual amount is equal to 0. Under this variable we will store calculation of value of quantity variable into value of price variable. Then after we have defined tax one rate variable is equal to zero. Under this variable we will store rate of tax one which we will enter into tax one text box. Now we have defined tax one amount variable is equal to zero. In this variable we will store tax one amount which get from actual amount variable value into value of tax one rate value divide by hundred. Then after we have defined tax to rate variable is equal to zero. Under this variable we will store rate of tax two which we will enter into tax two text box. Now we have defined tax to amount variable is equal to zero. In this variable we will store tax to amount which get from actual amount variable value into value of tax two rate value divide by hundred. Then after we have defined tax 3 rate variable is equal to 0. Under this variable we will store rate of tax 3 which we will enter into tax 3 text box. Now we have defined tax 3 amount variable is equal to 0. In this variable we will store tax 3 amount which get from actual amount variable value into value of tax 3 rate value divide by 100. And lastly we have define item total variable is equal to zero. In this variable we will store total of particular item we have store into this item total variable. So here first we have write quantity variable is equal to dollar with text box and order item quantity with value of j with value method. This will get value of item quantity and store into quantity variable. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write quantity variable value greater than zero. This condition will check if this variable value greater than zero then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write price variable is equal to dollar with text box and order item price with j variable value with value method. This code will fetch value of item price text box and store into price variable. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write price variable value greater than zero. This condition will check if this variable value greater than zero then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write actual amount variable is equal to parse float quantity variable value into parse float price variable value. This code will multiply both variable value and store into actual amount variable. Then after we want to assign this actual amount variable value to text box with a order item actual amount, so we have write dollar with text box a order item actual amount with value of j variable with value method and under this method we have write actual amount variable. Now we have write tax one rate variable is equal to dollar with text box a order item tax one rate with j variable value with value method. This code will get value from particular tax one rate text box and store into tax one rate variable. 
after this we have write if statement and under condition we have write tax 1 rate variable value greater than 0. This condition will check if this variable value greater than 0 then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write tax 1 amount variable is equal to parse float actual amount variable into parse float tax 1 rate variable value divide by 100. This code will calculate amount of tax 1 and store into tax 1 amount variable. And after this we want to assign this tax 1 amount variable value to text box of order item tax 1 amount. So we have write dollar with text box and order item tax 1 amount with j variable value with value method and under this method we have write tax 1 amount variable. This code will assign value of tax 1 amount variable value to text box and it will display under particular text box. Now we have write tax 2 rate variable is equal to dollar with text box and order item tax 2 rate with j variable value with value method. This code will get value from particular tax 2 rate text box and store into tax 2 rate variable. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write tax 2 rate variable value greater than 0. This condition will check if this variable value greater than 0 then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write tax to amount variable is equal to parse float actual amount variable into parse float tax to rate variable value divide by 100. This code will calculate amount of tax to and store into tax to amount variable. And after this we want to assign this tax to amount variable value to text box of order item tax to amount. So we have write dollar with text box and order item tax to amount with j variable value with value method and under this method we have write tax to amount variable. This code will assign value of tax to amount variable value to text box and it will display under particular text box. Now we have write tax 3 rate variable is equal to dollar with text box and order item tax 3 rate with j variable value with value method. This code will get value from particular tax 3 rate text box and store into tax 3 rate variable. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write tax 3 rate variable value greater than 0. This condition will check if this variable value greater than 0 then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write tax 3 amount variable is equal to parse float actual amount variable into parse float tax 3 rate variable value divide by 100. This code will calculate amount of tax 3 and store into tax 3 amount variable. And after this we want to assign this tax 3 amount variable value to text box with name order item tax 3 amount. So we have write dollar with text box and order item tax 3 amount with j variable value with value method and under this method we have write tax 3 amount variable. This code will assign value of tax 3 amount variable value to text box and it will display under particular text box. Now we have write item total variable is equal to parse float actual amount plus parse float tax 1 amount variable plus parse float tax 2 amount variable value plus parse float tax 3 amount variable value. This code will return total amount of particular item and store into item total variable. Then after we have write final item total variable is equal to parse float final item total variable value plus parse float item total variable. Here we have plus value of item total variable value with final item total variable. So at every interval it will add particular item total into this final item total variable and at last we can get the total amount of whole invoice. Now we want to assign value of item total variable to text box of particular item total. So here we have write dollar with text box and order item final amount with value of j variable with value method and under this method we have item total variable value. 
so it will display value item total variable to text box of particular item total. And lastly we want to assign value of final item total variable value to span tag within final total amount, so we have write dollar with span tag id final total amount with text method and under this method we have write final item total variable value. This code will display value of final item total variable value to span tag within final total amount. So here our function is ready and in this function we want to pass only value of how many item we have included into invoice on the basis of that it will mac all calculation like actual amount, calculation of tax amount, calculation of total of particular item and final total of invoice also. Now we want to call this function when we have enterprise of particular item. So here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this method we have write blur method and text box class order item price. So when we have enter item price then this code will execute. Under this we have called calculate final total function and in this function we want to pass how many item we have include an invoice. So this value we can get from this count function. So here we have write value of count variable. So when we have enter item price then it will call this function and it will calculate actual amount of item. Then after we want to call this function a time of enter of tax one rate. So here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this method we have use blur method with text box class order item tax one rate. So when we have enter value under order item tax one rate text box then this code will execute. Under this we have called calculate final total function with argument count variable value. This function will calculate tax one amount and it will display that amount in tax one amount text box. Same way we want to call this function a time of enter of tax to rate. So here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this method we have use blur method with text box class order item tax to rate. So when we have enter value under order item tax to rate text box then this code will execute. Under this we have called calculate final total function with argument count variable value. This function will calculate tax to amount and it will display that amount in tax to amount text box. After this we want to call this function a time of enter of tax 3 rate. So here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this method we have use blur method with text box class order item tax 3 rate. So when we have enter value under order item tax 3 rate text box then this code will execute. Under this we have called calculate final total function with argument count variable value. This function will calculate tax 3 amount and it will display that amount in tax 3 amount text box. Now we have moved to submit invoice form by using query code. So we have write dollar with submit button id create invoice with click method. So when we have click on invoice button then this code will execute. Under this we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar dot trim function and under this function we have write dollar with text box and order receiver name with value method with length method is equal to zero. This condition will check if this text box has no value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert with message like please enter receiver name. This alert message will be displayed if order receiver name text box is blank. Then after we have again write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with trim function and under this function we have write dollar with text box and order number with value method with length method is equal to zero. This condition will check if this text box has no value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert with message like please enter invoice number, 
This alert message will be displayed if order number text box is blank. Now we have right of statement and under condition we have right dollar with trim function and under this function we have right dollar with text box and order with value method with length method is equal to zero. This condition will check if this text box has no value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have right alert with message like please select invoice state. This alert message will be displayed if order number text box is blank. Now we have write for loop with variable no is equal to 1, number variable value less than equal to count variable value and number value plus plus. Here this loop will continuously interval until number variable value less than the value of this count variable. This loop is for validate text box of item name, price and quantity. Under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with trim function and under this function we have write text box id item named with value of number variable with value method with length function is equal to zero. This condition will check if this text box has no value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert statement with message like please enter write to name. So if particular item name text box is blank then it will display this message. Then after we have write dollar with text box and item named with value of number variable with focus method. This code will focus the particular text box if it is blank. Same way we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar with trim function and under this function we have write text box and order item quantity with value of number variable with value method with length function is equal to zero. This condition will check if this text box has no value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert statement with message like please enter item quantity. So if particular order item quantity text box is blank then it will display this message. Then after we have write dollar with text box and order item quantity with value of number variable with focus method. This code will focus the particular text box if it is blank. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with trim function and under this function we have write text box and order item price with value of number variable with value method with length function is equal to zero. This condition will check if this text box has no value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert statement with message like please enter item price. So if particular order item price text box is blank then it will display this message. Then after we have write dollar with text box and order item price with value of number variable with focus method. This code will focus the particular text box if it is blank. Lastly we have write dollar with form in invoice form with submit method. By using this method we can submit this form with an invoice form data to server. So in this part we have write query code for invoice calculation and form validation. In next part we will write PHP code for submit form data to server. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.